Okay, I just want to start off saying this video. I don't know if I'm a sociopath. I, I really don't know what that word means. All right, let's just Google this shit. Um, okay, that sounds about right. Hey guys, my name is Jade. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and thank you so much for clicking on today's video today. This is a completely different video than I typically do. If you guys can see, I'm on the patio. It's a little spooky vibes. If you saw the last time I was on this patio filming a video, I was actually talking about the truth. My truth on why I don't take sponsorships. I've literally taken zero sponsorships on this entire channel. I, I don't know why. It's probably not a good business move because I turned down a lot of money. Now, I'm not a huge influencer. I built a community on this channel and it's a complete blessing to me. But let's just say that uh, there are other people that are a lot bigger. YouTubers these days have been growing super fast and a lot of you guys ask me, hey Jade, does it take a certain personality to be a successful YouTuber? Now here's some context, you guys. If you're new to this channel, I'm actually a 17 year old entrepreneur and digital marketer. I basically, my day job is just helping you grow your channel. Uh, all I do is marketing. <laughs> I am also curious if you need to be super loud, super annoying on camera to be successful in order to engage an audience. I didn't really think so until I was watching a Shane Dawson documentary series about Jake Paul to see if there's another YouTuber is a sociopath. Now apparently a sociopath is someone with a deep lack of empathy. I got really scared after hearing that definition because I actually have an extreme lack of empathy. I don't know if I am someone with a personality disorder or if I'm just a complete narcissist. So that's why I'm gonna go take a quiz and see what we find. At the end of this video, you're just gonna learn does it take a certain thing for people to be successful online? Does it matter to you? And lastly, I'm actually gonna be calling up my dad. If you guys don't know, my dad has been a huge part of my life, running businesses as well. I just wanna know if I've always been this narcissist. So that's what today's video is about. It's gonna be a multiple part series and we're just gonna dive in. <sighs> okay, so I got my laptop here. I was actually currently working on a few events for my app I was launching and I'm so excited. Um, I'll dive into that later but let's just open up a new tab and find a quiz I haven't even searched one yet so I'm gonna start off just searching Google what I would typically search if I was concerned um, am I a sociopath oh there's already multiple searches okay so one of the first searches is called the sociopath test.net it seems pretty credible we're just gonna do it okay here it goes first question which of the following best describes your relationship with your parents or guardian in general at around the age of 15. okay so that's actually only two years ago for me the first option is my parents and i argued a few times a month but i was disciplined for some wrong choices ah, that is that is not me me and my parents would fight a lot when i was 15. especially going into freshman year of high school i was so angry at the world that i was such a ruthless child i love you mom and dad second choice i try to listen to my parents most of the time but we disagreed on most aspects of my lifestyle I did a few things that upset them yeah that sounds about right okay, okay, okay. I think it's number two because number three is about running away and although I would want to run away I need some food and resources so I don't think I could I'm just a very logical person <laughs> question two a month ago you had an emergency dental surgery that left you with a big bill how do you feel about making payment to the dentist's office? Okay, here's the thing. I work with brands a lot, and I know how annoying it is when brands don't send me my invoice on time. This answer, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to say I'm gonna pay on time because I know you don't wanna mess with businesses, taxes, all that. I'm gonna go with option two because it says I'm not happy about paying the unexpected dental bill. I think it's important to put emotions aside sometimes. <gasps> Now apparently a sociopath is someone who with a deep lack of empathy. Lack of empathy. <laughs> I literally just said something that could trigger. Actually, let's look at what it is. I, I really don't know what it is. Literally, the second symptom of a sociopath is difficult relationships and having lack of emotions. It says they it's hard to form emotional bonds so that our relationships are often unstable and chaotic. I think it's important to put emotions aside. Emotions aside, emotions aside. Okay, so here's the real truth. The reason why I was so curious to make this video and think I was a sociopath is because I haven't had a, a stable f life. Well, let's just say that. Like, I've always been switching schools, switching friendships, boyfriends. Yeah, that wasn't really a thing because it ended up kind of bad. Most of them kind of hate me. Um, I didn't date a lot of people, but again, it was hard to get in a relationship in general because not a lot of people wanted to 
stay with me. Okay, that sounds really sad. And I don't know why. I didn't think I'd do anything wrong, per se. I just knew that I was different from everyone else, so instead of engaging in conversations and like most high schoolers would, I would just do my own thing. For example, literally two days ago, I wrote down in my journal, this is my private journal, I don't share this with anyone, but I literally said, I wrote down, after watching Change Austin's video, I feel like I have symptoms of being a sociopath. I continue this quiz, but I just wanna let you guys know that I just don't wanna harm others, yet I show behavior sometimes of things that harm people, and I, anyways, I'm gonna continue this quiz and we're gonna reflect after. So the third question is, under what circumstances do you feel like it's acceptable to lie or misrepresent the truth? Are you kidding? I think it's literally crucial you say the truth. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. What you think, but what your mom thinks. Say your mind, speak your truth, don't lie to make others accept you. That's like literally like my mom. If you're doing something wrong or maybe hurting someone else, I'll just say it in front of your face. Don't give a shit because you gotta put others before you and honesty is the best. I'm just gonna preach that, but keep that simple. Okay, so the next question is, halfway through a landscaping project, you've started your own home. What the fuck? You realize you need someone else's help to complete the work. Relatable. <laughs> you know your brother has a day off. A rarity for a hardworking brother. Do you call your brother to ask for help? Duh, my brother is my brother. I don't, I'm an only child, so I'm just gonna say yes. If I had a brother, you gotta use your brother. Oh my god, there's 25 questions. Dude, I just wanna know if I'm a, I just wanna know if I'm a sociopath or not. This shouldn't take this long. Okay, if you guys don't mind. Uh, grab a snack, I guess. If you're not grabbing a snack, then I don't know what you're doing in this video. <laughs> Given an opportunity to gamble inside a casino, would you? I don't like gambling. I'd rather just build companies, and that's my gamble. You know, taking a risk in life. So I'm gonna say no. You're interested in applying for a job that requires a master's degree, but the level of education you hold is a bachelor's degree. What do you do? Relatable, dude. I'm a, dr I'm a high school dropout, <laughs> so I might run into this problem one day. Hopefully not, so let's see. This is actually kind of realistic because I do not have a high level of education. I'm just self-taught. So option A, I'd apply to an accelerated master's degree program. Option two, I would never apply for a job I'm not qualified for. I would look for other job postings instead. Eh, I mean, the world kind of is different where even if you don't deserve it, you just gotta ask for it and work hard and you could possibly f Oh, okay, I found a question that was kind of interesting. 16, you recently began a romantic relationship. God, you lose your job and your relationship partner offers you a loan so you can pay for your rent or mortgage. How do you feel about taking this loan? I am someone who is not comfortable taking someone else's money. I legitimately would rather just scale down. I would just scale the fuck down because, or at least ask my parents, because here's the thing, I really believe like I I'm a person that values working for it. If I literally lost my job, I would hustle and get a new one. So that's something about me, if you guys were curious. I'm very independent. So boys, if you're out there, uh, you're sweet. I really appreciate it. But don't worry about your own shit. Okay, so the first one, I would feel too guilty about owning money to a romantic partner to ever take a loan from, uh, it's not the word, for me the right word isn't guilty if you to take the loan because I absolutely have no other choice because I pride myself on being able to pay my own way through life. <laughs> That's kind of me though. Well, here's the thing, you know what I mean? Like, if you lose your job, wouldn't you at least have savings? Like, whoever loses their job, and doesn't have savings and relies on their partner, literally just set them up for failure. So I think it's your fault, bitch. I'm so embarrassed by this question. I feel like this might conclude if I have a sociopath behavior. Number 19, you move away from one side of the country to another. What is most likely the reason? So here's the thing, you guys. You guys know I'm currently in LA. I travel, I love traveling. My parents live all the way up in Portland, Oregon. This weekend, I literally drive from Portland to LA, which is around 14 hours alone. So I did this because I can't fucking stand my small ass town who doesn't support entrepreneurship. Not even that, it's just like, I'm really board. I would make a move like that after careful consideration and discussing it with my family and my current employer. No, I would not ask my family. Question two. I would make a move like that if a family member needed me to take care of him or her. Not the case for me. Option one. <laughs> Sometimes I reach a point where I can't stand my surroundings anymore and I feel like I just have to get far, far away. Me. And I'm not even ashamed. Like, relatable. For <laughs> Guys, number 22. You have an opportunity to invest in a business. Yes, queen, slay. 
The business plan incorporates a radical new concept in its market and investment is highly risky. <laughs> that sounds like my business. Are you likely to invest in this business? That's so fucking vague. This plan incorporates a new radical concept, but the investment is high. That's literally every single business. Like, <laughs> we can take my app for example. So my app, self plug, but if you were curious, it's a platform to help creators grow and basically how to get more followers, how to take your brand from a passion to a career. So I'm building up an educational platform to help you guys out and it's very cost intensive. Developing an app takes lots of time and money. So knowing that background, I'm gonna answer this question like I would with my own company. Last question, finally, got it. For several days in a row, you've been feeling rather sad and blue. I'm gonna go ahead and answer number three. Anyone who answers number three, you must be really in on your head. Okay, I'm gonna hit finish. We're gonna come back and see the results. Okay, I'm kinda scared. You guys, I'm 28% sociopath. I have 28% of me being partly a sociopath. What does that mean to me? I don't fucking know. So here's the thing. Maybe you're someone who carries disorders or traits that aren't perfect. That's okay. I know I'm kind of elaborating and making this really a big deal, but for someone that is an only child and values friendship, kind of hard to go around high school and kind of being like someone who would unintentionally hurt people's feelings. And I didn't want to be that person anymore. For high school, I literally took one whole year to redesign myself. Like I was tired of identifying myself as someone who was a monster. I started reading books like The Likeability Factor, How to Have More Empathy. I, I don't know, it just, these skills don't come natural to me, which is why I wanted to know if maybe this is just something I'm born with. The fucking word sociopath is another word for someone who's just not perfect. At the end of the day, none of us are perfect. I think sociopath, psychopath, these disorders, if you have a mental health disorder, it's just a fucking title and we choose to identify ourselves as these to define who we are and I'm just really sick and tired of that so if you are someone who thinks you're a monster you're crazy people call you out they, they tell you these mean horrible names or you call that to yourself just remember who you are is not your title the label who you are is little you you know I'm Jade the real question is does it take a certain personality trait or percentage to become a YouTuber. I'm gonna actually call up a few people in my network. I'm gonna call up my dad, figure out other YouTubers what they think. This is something I'm super passionate about of besting down and uh, I want you guys to come along with me. So, for now, I'm not a sociopath. I don't think I will be. I, I literally care too much about people too. Maybe I'm just a narcissist or extremely weird. If you like this video, make sure you like and comment your thoughts. Take this quiz, let me know your results. Check out part two where I talk about does it take a certain personality to be a YouTuber. I've been on this platform for seven years and I still don't know if it matters, if it will affect people, or you're gonna see. Shout out to the winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. All right guys, I love you guys so, so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs> this is such a weird video, but I hope you like it and I just wanna remember and let you know how fucking thankful I am for you guys being here. We recently actually hit 800 users on the app. Thank you so much, you guys. You are amazing. You truly mean the world. By the end of this year, I just wanted to hit a thousand users and you guys are killing it. You can find more information down below. But anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go head out, call my dad up, and see you in part two.